All right, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel. Let's jump right into this because this is gonna be a little longer video probably, but thanks and welcome to the Knives Fast channel. Like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. This is what I'm calling tiny and shiny. <laughs> Two small, very small knives. Uh, EDC size, if you will, but for a guy with bigger hands that likes bigger knives, they are definitely small. And we're gonna do kind of an overview of both and uh, then a review. Now, this guy is the QSP Otter Premium, comes by way of White Mountain Knives, and I'm an affiliate with White Mountain Knives. You can get 10% off by using code KNIVESFAST to check out. And this guy is the concept AGI and comes by way of my buddy Kevin left the EDC. In both cases, I will have links to these down below so you can check them out. Now there is also uh, a, uh, uh, what's the word Casey? A uh, budget friendly version of the auto, Otter, and I will leave a link down there uh, to that as well. I think they're $43, whereas this premium version is 114 and currently out of stock at the time of the, the video, but they'll probably have more. Okay, so let's just run through each one of these in turbo time, okay? So this is uh, the AGI, again, from Concept Knives, and we're gonna have to move these just so focus plays nice. All right, so you can see you have shred carbon fiber and titanium here. Uh, very cool, I need to go over to this listing and I just want to make sure it's titanium. Yes, it is. Um, you do have a lock bar insert. They are flat scales with a chamfer. Kind of an interesting um, convex uh, chamfer there. Very nice. You do have uh, a typical milled pocket clip with about that much sticking out of your pocket. Not reversible. No lanyard hole. Titanium backspacer. Very nice black hardware. Uh, I like it a lot. Black hardware over here as well. Same kind of chamfer, uh, but a little less deep, if you will, over here on the uh, carbon fiber. Beautiful shred carbon fiber. I mean, this is gorgeous. And then you can see what we have here is a drop point Damascus blade. Now, this is the, the 9CR Damascus is what we've been told. You do have the concept logo there. And uh, again, uh, I'm going to screw up the the, uh, the name of the designer, so I'm going to go over here. Michael Galovic and Michael Komarovsky are your two designers. Um, very small knife now, so you have uh, just four fingers. You're locked in a little bit by the flipper tab here, um, and, you know, it's fine. I still have four fingers, but I do feel kind of constrained here, like I always tell you guys about a small knife where I can't sort of relax, but I can kind of, the flipper tab is small enough where I can sort of choke up of over that a little bit for me. Um, I don't particularly care for back here just because I'm kind of on the ragged edge of my pinky uh, on this one. Now you have a crown spine, which is fantastic. Beautiful, full flat ground blade. Um, not super thin on the stock, but it does cut well. We'll show that in a minute. Locked up like a bank vault. No lock rock or blade play. It's like 20% uh, lockup. Like Concept does, tooled on both sides. It is bearings with um, race washers. You can see drops pretty well and then shakes down. Uh, just keep your pressure off the lock bar. Your detent, wonderful. Really nice, uh, snappy it is. Uh, for me, you can push button it very well or you can uh, light switch it, either one. I like the light switch a little bit better, but that's just me. Um, drop, shake, very nice, centered. Just a great little knife, and these are running um, ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum, $139.89, and I will leave uh, a link to that down below. Now, let's uh, pull you out of the way, and let's go over to uh, the Otter, okay? So the Otter is in... Uh, this uh, aluminum foil carbon fiber. You do have, in this case, um, proud liners. Um, they, they actually aren't proud. They're just exposed liners, I guess you would say. Uh, this one had a backspacer, and this one has standoffs instead. You do have a lanyard hole. Uh, you also do not have a reversible clip. You also have a milled clip with about that much sticking out of the pocket. 
This aluminum foil carbon fiber is beautiful. Now, much more simple flat handle uh, with chamfers around, very nicely done. Uh, you have a captive pivot in this case, and this flipper tab is definitely a light switch. You can see crack, it has a very good detent there. Uh, nice on the detent, I like it. Now, closing, drop to your thumb, and this one is more of a controlled drop. It is, I believe, on washers, uh, but it is definitely not as smooth. Um, it's smooth, but it's not as droppy, I guess I should say. Um, nice, I mean, not great sounds on either one of them because they're so small. Now again, uh, four finger knife. Uh, feels like I have slightly more back here. I'm still locked in here and I can still come up above that flipper tab if I want to. I now have a little bit of a dip here to put my thumb in. I have some jimping over here. We did not, if you remember. Our stock is a, a little thicker on the otter, as you can see. Um, again, this one, to me, of the two in the relax, the back grip behind the flipper tab feels a little bit better to me. And I also uh, love that sheep's footy blade. Here they are side by side, um, but back to back, whatever you want to say. They are extremely similar. Um, drop point versus sheep's foot, a little more curved to the handle versus a very neutral handle. Um, very cool. Both. Um, I, I've cut with both briefly and very, very nicely done. Now, this one is in S35, and this one is in that uh, 9CR Damascus. Um, yeah, a little. Yeah, no, it's good. It's good. Yeah, so it uh, just seems like this one, this one cuts just a little bit better. It seems a little uh, more geometrically whatever the word is, friendly as far as cutting. Um, very cool. Now let's put our normal guys out here. You know it's going to be closer to the Ontario Rat 2, but still smaller um, and way smaller than the Rat 1. There you go. Both, um, I'm, I'm very impressed with both uh, on, you know, the actual fit and finish and everything about them. Now, again, uh, this one was 130, whatever I said, almost 140. This one is 114. Um, and again, it's out of stock as we speak. Now, it says this one's 6.5 overall uh, with a close length of 3.8, a blade length of 2.7. Um, the blade thickness is 0.118. Uh, we might find out in a minute whether I'm right here on the which is thicker. And again, uh, 2.6 ounces on that one. I'm betting this one's going to be a little bit heavier, but we shall see. I could be completely wrong. 6.69 uh, with uh, overall with a 2.94 inch blade. Uh, wow. Uh, <laughs> and uh, uh, wow. And then I got to get back to where I was. 6.69, 2.94 inch blade, 0.118. So the exact same blade stock thickness. And again, 2.08 ounces. So they're very close. Uh, Comparison-wise, very close. They both cut pretty well. Uh, I will give this one a little more sliciness just because of the way it's ground. Is that hollow? Nope, it's flat. Uh, it just feels like that one cuts a little bit better, and it might be because of the Damascus uh, kind of giving this one a little more sticky texture to it, uh, if that makes sense um, at all. I know I'm a goofball, but that's that's the truth. Now, lock bar access. Uh, both have decent lock bar access. Uh, both are not super easy uh, to move. Now, this one, uh, the lock bar, bar is a little more stiff. Uh, but again, I'm not digging way down. It's You can get to it. And then this one, um, I actually have a little easier time getting across. A little more room to get to the lock bar and open it. But again, both are great in hand. Now, another little feature uh, well, okay, maybe I can't this one. I thought I could. Nope, I cannot. I can't get it out there. I guess it's not quite smooth enough. Nope, almost. Uh, but on the AGI, I can middle finger flick it easily off the ground. I mean, look at that. And I think you're getting a little traction from that Damascus. Man, that is fantastic. Uh, so there you go. That is uh, two knives. This one, again, 
from White Mountain Knives. So check them out over there and use code KNIVESFAST for 10% off. And there is a 40 something dollar uh, budget versions of these. Um, and then the AGI from Concept, I will leave a link down below to that as well. And you can um, check that out. And thanks to Lefty for sending this one out and to White Mountain for sending this one out. So definitely guys, there is your tiny but shiny knives and tiny and shiny knives, whatever, tiny, shiny, I don't know. Uh, that's all I got. So uh, let me know what you think. Which one would you choose? I'm curious. And uh, really, really cool. You know what else I bet? Hold on. I was about to wrap up, but I get I get these little thoughts in my head. I bet. Let's see if this size-wise, this is the Benchmade 945. Look at that. So very, very similar size-wise, obviously an access lock, but that gives you a really good idea as well. So guys, thank you so much. Uh, give me a thumbs up, comment down below, and thank you so much for watching the Knives Fast channel.